Hi, Dr. Ralph here with Natural Living and Wellness. I want to talk a moment about different ways to detect either heavy metals and or parasites in the body. Now, for a lot of patients who come in, they want to know several things. Every patient wants to know, what's wrong with me? How did I get here? Is it fixable or patchable? How much will it cost? How long will it take? It's pretty much what everybody wants to know. Most people have no idea how they get sick. They'll come in with a mystery illness. They don't feel right. They know they don't feel right. They've actually been to other practitioners. They've tried other things. Nothing seems to be working or it works for a while and then it tapers off and they're back to where feeling bad again. So then you think, well, gosh, something deeper must be looked at. There's something else going on. What's one of the ways to find out what it could possibly be? Well, one of the ways is, is you can do something called a fecal metal test. Now, if you want to determine what kind of heavy metals might be in the body, there's different ways to do it. One is, is you can do something called urine analysis. And sometimes they'll do something like a challenge where they'll give you some type of an agent uh, like DP, DMPS, or they'll give you something like DMSA. They'll try and get your body to blow out a lot of the heavy metals and then they'll test the urine to see what they collect on the other end and then they make some assumptions based off of that. But the only problem there is, is if you happen to have a weak liver or you happen to have weak kidneys and now you dump a lot of what would normally be stored in the tissues, you just dump it out into the bloodstream and your body has to somehow process it. You can actually make yourself a lot sicker. So I don't recommend that. It's not really the way to go. Uh, so what else can you do? Well, you can do hair analysis. Uh, if you're going to do something like hair analysis, you take a, a little bit of hair, either from like the nape of the neck, or you can take them from the groin area, put them in a bag, send them off, and they can do a, a hair analysis assumption based off of what heavy metals are found in the hair, since it's an end product. Whatever ends up in the hair has already been processed through the body, and they can see what's dumped out into the hair. If you're going to do that route, uh, one of the companies that I would recommend is a company called Trace Elements, Inc., and you can do it through them. Another way to do it is you can do it through something called fecal metal testing. Now, fecal metals, uh, the company that I use is called Doctor's Data. And just to give you a little example here is uh, I got like two patients, recent patients here. Um, they show like for this patient here, it's a female. And what she has is a high uranium content. And in addition to high uranium, also has high amalgams, uh, actually mercury. The mercury can come from amalgams or it can come from uh, fish. It can come from the air. Uh, burning coal puts a lot of mercury into the air. China tends to burn a lot of coal. Winds carry it over here. We end up breathing it. So in this particular example, we have a patient that has high um, uranium and high mercury. On this other patient here, this is a male patient, and we have um, pretty much arsenic off the chart. Arsenic mostly is going to be, uh, you're going to be contaminated through drinking water. But in addition to that, this particular patient also has high platinum, high uranium, and almost borderline on tungsten. And so here are two examples of, uh, well, actually one example, which is fecal metals, but two different patients. You can see they have quite different readings. So there's something called um, your bioindividuality. And two people can be exposed to the same toxic metal. And for one person, it might store in this tissue versus another tissue. For somebody else, their levels might be high. Somebody can process and push most of it out. Their levels might be low. So until you're tested, you don't really have a definitive. You don't really know for sure. Once your metals are high, the problem with that is, is that parasites love to live in an environment where you have lots of heavy metals. Plus, heavy metals themselves, what the tendency is, is they shut down enzyme systems. Well, enzymes make everything work in the body. You shut down an enzyme system for, let's say, a liver or for fats or for sugars, you're going to start having problems with organs that also have to do with processing fats or sugars or proteins. So you want to make sure you can, do, you can do everything you want to balance out your liver, to balance out your kidneys. You can do everything you want to balance out your pancreas. But if you have a heavy metal burden, they're not going to want to leave. Unless you go in there and pull them out, they're not going to want to come out. And there's different ways to pull them out. You can use, they have suppositories that are out there now, where you could actually use those to pull out heavy metals from the body. You could also use clay. They have uh, bentonite clay that you can drink, or you can go use clay baths, where you actually put a bunch of clay in a bath, sit in it, and it'll help draw out metals out of the body. Um, another test that's kind of interesting too is, if you do have heavy metal burden, you might want to also get tested on finding out what kind of parasites you have in the body. And one way to do that, there's a company called Metametrics, and they have a particular test that ships to you in a box, and the test is a GI uh, function profile. It's called GI effects. And what it does is it'll end up telling you, well, what kind of parasites you might have and the population of each type. Now remember, parasites can cause disease states, 
But one of the reasons the parasites are there to begin with is because the environment is friendly for them to be there. And one of the ways the, the environment becomes friendly for them to be there is because you may have a heavy metal burden. So one of the ways to be able to identify why you might be sick would be, do you have heavy metals? And if so, do you have parasites? And once you can identify those, well, now there are ways you can detox to lower the metals and to eliminate the parasite burden. So something to check out. Take a look. Thanks again. This is Dr. Ralph from Brianco with Natural Living and Wellness.